All right, today we're here at Texas Armoring Corporation, and we've got uh, LK in front of us. He's our uh, resident ballistics and uh, munitions expert. Lawrence, tell us a little bit about what you've got there. Uh, here we got an M16 clone. Uh, basically, it's a civilian legal AR-15. It's got a 20-inch barrel. Uh, shoots the 5.56 by 45 millimeter, uh, similar to a 223. Um, this is a very dangerous round because of its high velocity, get upwards of uh, 3,000 feet per second. It's a nasty little rifle here. And what, uh, so the particular bullet that we're going to be using today is it's an SS-109 round, is that correct? Correct. It's a NATO spec round, it's a, uh, a light penetrator round, so. Uh, Not a true AP round, but it is a penetrator round. Correct, it's, it's meant to go through light armor. Okay, excellent, excellent. Come a little bit closer, just hold up the gun a little bit. A little bit higher, just want to get a good view of the, the weapon here so everyone can see. And this barrel, uh, how long is this barrel? This is a 20 inch barrel. Uh, it's a government length profile barrel. Um, the longer the barrel, the higher velocity the round will be. And uh, this is especially uh, true at longer ranges. So. Okay. Excellent. All right, well, let's go out back and uh, do some shooting. Okay. Facility here. Texas Armoring Corporation, the leading worldwide manufacturer of lightweight armored passenger vehicles. Let's talk a little bit about the, the makeup of this bullet. These are military surplus NATO 5.56 SS-109 penetrator rounds. These are the closest thing you can get. These are the real deal. These are genuine military surplus. Here are the rounds that we're going to be using up close. Uh, these are the SS-109 rounds that we talked about earlier, and these are a light penetrator round. Here we've got our simulated door skin uh, with a uh, strike face on the outside, and then underneath we have a very, very high-end, lightweight ballistic composite, and this is what makes our vehicle so light, uh, even after they're armored. We'll put a few shots in it here. Uh, here's our AR-15. Lawrence is ready to go. So we just want to show you kind of an example of how this would fit inside the vehicle. This is a Hummer H1 that we're armoring right now for a client. Lawrence, go ahead and uh, show them how this, this would fit in the door. Essentially, the strike face would be facing the outside. And you've got the lightweight composite armor on the inside. Um, and I, obviously, this isn't fit for this door. It's just a sample. But everything would be exactly cut and water jetted to the exact interior skin of the door for 100% protection. Uh, Lawrence, let's, let's go ahead and take it out, and then we can do some shooting. All right, Lawrence, go ahead and load the sample in the shooting box and let the games begin. We are professionals. Do not try this at home. Always wear eye and ear protection. Make sure you're safe when you're shooting. specialized box in a contained environment also. Okay, I'm going to come behind you, Lawrence. Sure. See the sample in here before you shoot. We're going to go for that top target. All right, top target. See what we did. All right. So you've got the uh, in, in the outer strike face. This is designed to penetrate. So go around the outside. You see the hole. Here's where the bullet's gone in. And this is through the outer strike face to simulate a door skin. Let's show the inside. Zero penetration. Absolutely smooth. Totally safe. I mean, very, very minimal impact. And it's very lightweight. This material we use 
is extremely lightweight. It, you know, you save around 50% of the weight, uh, you know, compared with a normal armored vehicle. And uh, it's 10 times stronger than a traditional steel. Anything else to add, Lawrence? Or you want to take a couple more shots? Take a few more shots, make sure it works. All right. Clear? Clear. You're a good shot. Right. <laughs> and here you go. No penetration. Oh, it's good. All right, should we put a few more in it? All right, Lawrence, how many shots are you going to do this time? We're going to do 10 shots, rapid fire. Okay, 10 shots, rapid fire succession. Let's go. You scare me, Lawrence. See the front. Here's your impact. No penetration. And that's incredible. Look at that. It's a little warm. Zero penetration. It's incredible. Looks great. What do you think, Mark? I appreciate it very much. Did she say fire in the hole? <laughs> sure. I was sitting there on a weld like this, just about ready to hit the weld, and all of a sudden y'all went boom, and I went off to the side. All right, we're, I'm going to edit that part out. <laughs> no, that looks great. Look at that, though. That's impressive. Yeah. See, in, a lot of the materials out there in the market are not this great, this caliber. This particular strike face is much harder than a regular strike face that you would see out in the field. Uh, you've got a very, very high-end composite armor. This is custom-made, custom-manufactured, and pressed exactly to our specification. Um, extremely lightweight and extremely good protection. Uh, there's really nothing that compares. And the truth is, this is the most, one of the most dangerous rounds on the market. Uh, very difficult.